The first A in NASA stands for aeronautics and a commitment to developing the world's most advanced, efficient aircraft. Key to the success of this effort today is computer modeling, the ability to evaluate a number of factors before committing to a particular configuration. Recently, engineers at NASA's Lewis Research Center have been using these same modeling techniques to improve the design and durability of artificial joints. Joint replacement surgery is performed almost every day at places like the University Hospitals of Cleveland. Here, orthopedic surgeon Dr. Bernard Stolberg holds a widely used artificial knee. The problem is that implants like these currently have to be replaced every 10 to 15 years. These parts can come loose, they can wear, uh, and there's a very intimate relationship between the implant and the bone that uh, is just beginning to be explored. NASA researchers are using their computer codes to come up with a design that will stay securely in the bone for a longer period of time. These techniques also make it possible to custom design artificial joints, according to aerospace engineer Dale Hopkins. Rather than fitting the patient to the implant, the implant is, is fitted to the patient. Another medical development involves ultrasound. Originally used to detect structural flaws in aircraft at NASA's Langley Research Center, this technology is now enhancing the treatment of fire-related injuries. Each year, two million Americans suffer serious burns. 200,000 need hospitalization. Assessing whether a burn is second or third degree is crucial in determining proper treatment, according to Dr. Anthony Marmoreau at the Medical College of Virginia. The faster we can make that assessment, the easier it is going to be in terms of the healing process. Now you can see Ultrasound used in NASA aeronautics research has been modified to make rapid, accurate assessments of burn thickness. This procedure enables doctors to distinguish between a second-degree burn that can heal naturally and a third degree requiring surgical skin grafting. So again, front surface and a very diffuse back surface. And that's what we see when we have a very deep burn. Once left to time and a doctor's eye and experience, burn assessment can now be highly accurate and instantaneous. Comparing this ultrasound technique with other medical procedures, Langley's Dr. John Cantrell. We have been exactly on the money 100% of the time. Improving the assessment of burns and the design of artificial joints, NASA Aeronautics Technology, enhancing medical science.